<laughs> so are we hoping that they come here and steal this? That should do the trick. Now, to make a special delivery to the Caves of Ma- Okay, so we're bringing it to them. That makes way more sense. You never know when danger might strike. Be sure to save often. Keep an eye out for this monument. You can find save points in towns, overworld areas, and dungeons. Absolutely, we'll save again, and we'll save in slot three. That way we can bounce the saves back and forth. I don't want your slippery nut, Grandma. Oh, there's a treasure chest. <gasps> there's another treasure chest. What's in the chest? Oh! oh. Um, this doesn't seem like a fight that I can win. Do I have a weapon? Exploit your foe's weaknesses to turn the tide of battle in your favor. Attack your foe's weak points to lower their shield points. Reduce shield points to zero to break your foe. Tressa can utilize pole arms, bows, and wind abilities in battle. So, uh, select attack and choose the weapon you might want to use with the directional buttons. Go to Merchant Skills uh, and choose Trade Winds to see it in action. Let's do this! Merchant Skills deal heavy wind damage to a single foe. It looked like it cut her up. Ow! Let's hey, stop do. hitting me with bows! Let's hit him with a spear. Ooh! Okay, he did not like getting hit with a spear. Enter boost mode to augment your powers. Break your foes to dramatic, uh, drastically reduce their defense. Press right bumper to enter boost mode, and the potency of your attacks and abilities will surge. You gain one boost point per turn. You can spend three boost points to boost your character three levels of power. If you use boost mode, you will not gain any boost points on the following turn. Let's do this! Damn, we can go four times with it. Get him out of here. We just <laughs> achievement unlimited power just popped up. All right, Tressa, that was very unexpected, but very exciting. I like that it's like turn-based combat. It, it feels very, without actually being it, it feels Final, Final Fantasy-esque. Right Ew, it's a little crawly crab thing. Oh, he boosted himself, it looks like. I don't want to do that because I don't know what he's resistant to. Okay, so he's not vulnerable to wind damage. What to do? He is vulnerable to spears, though. My turn now. Do we see any of his health? Like, do we know an enemy's health? I see my HP, but I don't see theirs. Oh, broke it and three Let's extra hits on there. Body dash. Okay, I'm gonna assume he's just damaged because of the flashing. Or is that he's stunned? Okay. He keeps rebuilding his defense here. Oh, she leveled up. Sleepweed. You got more than you bargained for. 
Okay, I probably need to heal up a little bit. Oh, you start the fight at full health. Okay, well that's good. That's a good thing to know, that when you finish a battle, you like full healed it looks like. Or at least for the purpose of this right now you are. Okay, things don't keep the same vulnerability, or at least it doesn't continuously show the same vulnerability. Hey, if you could not shoot me with arrows, I'd appreciate it. Get with that spear. Ow. There we go, get him out of here. No items obtained. That's all right. Yeah, so you can't see their health. That's going to be a thing. Is that you have no idea how much you have hurt them. As far as I can tell. Open for business. Equally 2D and 3D animation is really nice. It is really nice, Nemo. I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying the art style in this so far. Like, what to do? the 2D overlay on top of the 3D looks good. And how some things move. Alright, we're gonna wait till we can full power ourselves. What to do? Here we go. Super powered Ame! Ame! Spear! I want to shoot with the bow. Oh, not boost. Because I wonder if he's weak to bow attacks as well. No, but he did die to the bow. And we leveled up. What do we get? An herb of clarity. Like, I really like how the grass is just slightly swaying but the water down there is, like, fully animated. It looks really good. Well, there's a save point down there. But I gotta Ready fight another one of these little crab boys. My turn now. Let's see. Go on the defense to reduce damage taken and attack earlier. So he's gonna body slam me here. Yeah. Here I go. Four attacks. Go. Broke his guard. My turn now. Yeah. Broke his guard again. Hit him. He's gonna come out of this. He's gonna my boost himself. Now. I'm gonna defend myself. Here I go. Three attacks. This should do it. Yeah, That's there we go. Like I for. said, that should have been the end of it. Alright, we can't go there yet, though, because there is a, a treasure chest over here, and us being the good merchants we are, we can't give up any treasure. Plus, I mean, look, there was a healing grape in it. Open oh my goodness, it. another fucking crab. My turn now. <laughs> we'll hit him before he defends himself. Oh, I thought he was going to charge at me, I'll be honest. Okay, so it looks like every time we can break his guard, he's going to attack. No, we want to save that. What to do? 
He's gonna, yep. That's all right. Because now we can do four attacks and he's only got one guard. I'm starting to learn this a little better. Starting to figure out more how this goes. So he's got two guard now. He's going to buff himself. Oh, it didn't matter. Time to close up shop. Oh, there's nothing back there. It looked like that was a little path that you might could go along. All right. I am a compulsive saver. You all will learn this. Hi there, Mr. Pirate. I have some wine for you. Hey! Ahoy there, me hearty! Ah! Ah, not you again. You're looking for trouble, brat. No, sir. I came to apologize on behalf of my town. We should have known we didn't stand a chance against you swashbucklers. Will this do? This is for you. I hope you can forgive us. <clears throat> Wine! The captain's will The captains will be happy about this. <laughs> Bottoms up! That was a really sinister laugh for a, such a small girl. <laughs> Those land lovers didn't even put up a fight. <laughs> really don't even know how. From the looks of it, ah, uh, their crusty barnacle of a town don't get many pirates. The strong will take while the weak quake. Ah, uh, that's the way the world works. Words to live by. Uh, courtesy of Captain Lennon uh, Bastrail, Scourge of the Seas. Aye. Aye. We set out uh, to follow in his footsteps and ain't looking back since. There ain't no better life than just taking what you want. Sir! Captain! Captain! I told you, there ain't no room for two captains round here. You got that right. Right. Like I said, you're just the first mate. Ah. I decided to foot, put down AC Valhalla until the DLC comes out in March, unless they have another seasonal event before then. Oh, like, I assume you probably finished the story then. Uh... Or are you, like, waiting to finish the story till you finish all the side stuff, DLC included? Because I've done that for many a games. Set your squabbling aside, Captains. We've got more wine here. Yo -ho. Did you say wine? Oh. <clears throat> oh, that kid came by. Said a town was sorry for what it, what it done. So these landlubbers are fast learners. Or are they too yellow-bellied to put up a fight? <laughs> All right! A toast to the landlubbers! To the limp-legged jellyfish of Riptide! Cheers! Cheers, mateys! Let's see. Well, I finished the story and I finished all the important location objectives, but the collectibles are so frustrating. I actually cried, so I think... Yeah, I mean, if a game's making you cry, don't... <laughs> I mean, unless, you know, it's like an emotional feels kind of cry, but if it's so frustrating to find all the collectibles... <gasps> don't. Don't do that to yourself. Games are fun. They're escapism. Cheers! To the pirate in life! It should be just about time. All right, let's go.
Danger level one. Look at him, dead asleep. Dead asleep. Whoa! Well, that was easy. Huh. That's what they get for underestimating me. I guess I'm just too tough to cry. One of the collectibles is having to chase after a flying piece of paper uh, that will have like a tattooed sign on it, which would be fun and dandy if your character didn't constantly jump to the ground. Oh, I remember in fucking AC Black Flag, which was very good, um, having to try and collect those song sheets that fly around. And if it's anything like that, I understand just kind of not. Oh, this pirate's still awake? Let's do this! Collect money from a single foe. I'm headed straight to the floor. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You get it, Casey. Let's do this! Talking about Valhalla. There, uh, Mary, welcome. Also, yes, we are talking about Valhalla. We don't know what he's vulnerable to yet. Let's try the bow. Ooh, okay, he is vulnerable to the bow. My turn now. Which means we'll fucking go Kamehame Ah with him on the bow. Just unload four arrows into this motherfucker. Also, ooh, ooh, what's this? This is Octopath Traveler. John's explaining that he fucking hates the tattoo. I'm telling you, it's, if it's anything like the Black Flag music sheets for uh, Assassin's Creed, I get it, TM. What to <laughs> yeah, get the fuck yeah, out of here, pirate. Trying to beat up a little merchant girl. Fuck you and get out of here. Back from lurking. King, how's it going? He said a similar mechanic that it has been at- okay. I don't think you've heard him- I don't think I've heard you call him your fiancé yet. You know, come to think of it, I don't either think I have- I don't also think I have heard you say that. It's- it's so sweet. An inspiriting plum. Ooh, a little sneaky boy. He snuck up on me as a little sneaky snake. I'm so tantalizing close to completing all the Mac objectives and getting the achievement. It hurts so much. Yo, that's the way I felt about um the Spider-Man game. I got so close to finishing everything in the PS4 Spider-Man game, like the Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, but I just got so bored with it. I put it down and literally a year later, I went back and finished it. I have now 100 percented the the game other than the DLC, but I had to stop to take a break from it. That's what I'm talking about when I say all people that don't. You know what? That's entirely fair, Mary. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like spears. Which means we're fucking going all in on the spear attack. I need to heal up a little bit. Uh, actually, we're going to defend here because he's going to hit us. Let's do this. Hydrate. Thank you. Thank you. Break his armor, which will stun him. Go. Now I can hit him with three attacks. Use spears the colony. <laughs> ah, no. You didn't. It was a it's a crossover game, guys. Come on now. You should know this. Oh, stunned and dead. Okay, that worked out. Okay, you can now learn new skills. Select skills, then learn skills. That makes sense. All right, go here. Learn skills. You'll learn a variety of skills to gain the upper hand in battle. You can use the JP you earn in battle to learn new skills. 
Oh, job points. I was like, is it experience or? Yeah, job points. Okay. So. We can learn rest restores one own HP and SP and cures ailments. You will win damage to all foes. Uh, grant one BP to an ally. You are Japan. <laughs> JP. Japan. Job points. Job points. I, hmm. Pay money to uh, summon hired help to the battlefield. Or dodge a single physical attack with 100% success rate. I mean, I think just completely avoiding an attack seems the best way to go. Mostly because paying money to earn hired help seems like I don't want to do that. But we're going to learn sidestep. Let me not wake up the sleepy guy there. Oh, we already went that way. I think we've already gone all these ways. Damn it, it's another pirate. What to do? Oh, he's asleep. Can we flee? Do we want to flee? He's asleep for two more turns. I want to build up my BP. Now we can just unleash with four attacks. I don't think he... I think it's that I started the combat. He hasn't attacked me yet. It's just we basically rolled initiative is my understanding right now. But now I'm just going to hit him with a bow four times while he's asleep. Here I go. Here I go. Did you approach him, or did he appear? He appeared Pokemon style for sure. Hmm, tasty grape. Here I go. <laughs> He's asleep. Look, I don't ask questions. I just shoot people with arrows. I'm a small merchant girl. What do you expect? It's a joke. I wonder if I could have just chose to flee the battle. But I wanted the <gasps> treasure chest. We can't leave without that. A thunder soul stone. Ready or not, here I it's come. more like my joke. Let's do this. Okay. Steal money from him. Oh, it's only a 13% success rate, huh? Catch me again. Yeah, try and hit me, little snake. Aha, uh -huh. you couldn't even hit a little girl. Hold on, take that back. One hit will break his armor first. Now we can full power. Charizard. Wouldn't this be more like Ekans? I feel like this would be Ekans. Oh no! Oh no! Alright. Want that treasure chest. Oh, what's up with you? Hold on. Traveling peddler. If you need anything, just say the word. Why? That requires me to have large knowledge of specific Pokemon. Ekans is just a cobra, and his name is Snake spelled backwards. He's nothing fancy. I think he's also a Gen 1 Pokemon. Why is there a traveling peddler in the middle of this pirate cave? I will sell you some things. I'll sell you a handkerchief and a hip flask. Isn't that great? 
Isn't that what you wanted? A handkerchief and a hip flask? Ekans is, uh, is just a generic snake. Arbok, you're right. Arbok is the cobra. I remember now that you say it's snake backwards. You're you're right. Arbok is the cobra. You sell lots of healing grapes, lots of inspiriting plums, and an olive of life. I'll buy some of these grapes from you. Although, I mean, an olive of life sounds great. I just have no one to, like, Greek-style feed me the olive once I'm dead, so I don't think it'll do me much good. Play two Pokemon games, First Gen and Shield. Step right up. My turn now. Gotta do my skincare. Five minutes. Well, go do your skincare. Self-care is important. I was gonna say, if I couldn't flee from a fight where the dude was literally asleep. Some refreshing jam. Okay, I like me some refreshing jam. See my leg, there I am. Open for business. It's the same dude, he's still asleep. I'm just Let's gonna leave, do I don't need to fight him. Completed the entire uh, Galar Pokemon deck, so I'm kind, kind of a big deal. It's never leaving my house. I have only completed one Pokemon Dex, and that was Fire Red. Although I wish it had been Leaf Green, but... <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. You know what I mean? Alright. I hope there's tre <clears throat> I hope there's treasures in your dreams. Because there won't be any here when you wake up. <laughs> That's right. Go steal all the treasure there, my girl. <gasps> He's waking up. This is not good. I haven't even played a Pokemon game. Gang, I highly recommend it. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh yeah, Mary, you didn't see, but these these pirates are basically Meowth, I decided. From their voices, they are Meowth. M me me <laughs> Um, well, I just came back to get the cask. I'll be going now. <sighs> Oh yeah, that's mighty kind of you. Yeah. Sound just like you. I know it's because I'm terrible at voices. Mac, Mac, get your lazy bones. Uh, get you, you lazy sack of bones up. We got ourselves an intruder. Oh, what? Uh oh. You. Hey, I know you. You're the brat from town. Oh, I gets it now. You came to steal our loot while we were sleeping, didn't you? Don't love hitting, love... Love kissing. They love kissing. Uh, <clears throat> you don't miss a thing, do you? You got guts, kid. But guts alone won't get you far in this world. We don't forgive none what tries to take our hard-earned loot. What? Hard-earned? You stole all of this! <laughs> that we did, which makes it ours now. Hey! You don't understand the meaning of earning anything. You don't understand all the love and care that went into making these those products. How hard these people have worked to earn the satisfaction of their customers. And it's up to merchants like me to make sure these products find their way into the hands of those who can appreciate them. I won't That's allow a it. very generous view of merchants, and one that I really think people should take more to heart. So, on my honor as a merchant, I will get those goods back. 
You shark bait, brat! You got that right. Don't expect us to go easy on you. The world's a harsh place, as we're about to teach you. Now, let's oh, no. get down to business. Yeah, let's get down to let's business get here against Mick and Mac. Oh, I only got four hours of sleep today, so I'm going to go to bed. Bye. Oh, we'll see you, King. It was good to have you stop by. Go get some sleep for sure. You leave and you go, so you start with hitting me with a golf club. It's my turn now. All right, Mac, take that. Okay, he's weak to wind. That's good to know. Ow. Going into lurk mode, gonna play some Halo. Oh, Halo Reach is so good, Nemo. Halo Reach is so good. If you want, you can use our brand new lurk command. Just exclamation point lurk. You weak to trade wins? So you are. Ow. There you go, Trash Queen Nemo, hiding behind cover. All right, let me get all my health back. I can't remember if it was you who had it or someone else. I just put it in this weekend. My turn now. Okay, he's weak to spear. What to, what to do is... Hit him with all that we've got, with the spear. We also put in a roulette and a duel command. What to do? That didn't break his armor? Let's do this. That's weird. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I uh, meant to rule people that if you play roulette and you get a bang, you get a timeout. <laughs> so just be careful playing some roulette there. Let's Heal myself up again. Jeez. What to do? Alright, that's gonna stun him. He'll hit me, that's fine. Time for a big attack. Boom, 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 boom. I have no idea how damaged these people are because you don't get any indicator. Got to block a little bit there. Healing great. They go first. I go. Break his armor. Hit him a few more times. <gasps> we defeated him. Okay. Okay. Now. Now we're feeling good. Okay, not vulnerable to the bow. We'll make you walk the plank. What to do? Is he vulnerable to the... Okay, he doesn't like the bow, but he doesn't care about the spear. He's scurvy lovers. Oh, he's... He's, I, he's getting super powered, it feels like. Let's go ahead and see if we can stun him out of whatever it is he's trying to do. will let me know if the music is too loud, right? Here I go. Or if the like game is too loud in a weird way. Hit that. It's charging up. He's getting powered. Oh, this is not good. Ooh. Like I said, that's not good. Here I go. My turn now. 
That'll stun him, and now we can just unload five shots into him. All right. He's starting to charge up again. I gotta heal myself. That's the only thing I can do. What to do? Uh, merchant skills sidestep. Catch me again. Now he's gonna swing and miss completely. Nice try. Yeah, that's right. Good try. You fucking, you calling me a land lover? Piece of shit, trash ass pirate. Get wrecked by a little fucking girl. Come on, we gotta break his armor again. Mutiny. What to do? <laughs> Armor's broken. Let's do this. Now merchant skills. Trade wins. Eighty-nine damage. Get out of here. <laughs> How is that? You both got wrecked by a small merchant girl. What the fuck is your problem? Now, hand over those goods. Damn it all! You're one tough barnacle to pick, but we're just getting started. Mateys! Oh, I thought they were all still asleep. So remember when I was talking about you getting wrecked by uh. one merchant girl? Hey, how about we just... It, ah. No, that's fine. Nothing worried. You're a ninny for challenging us on our own home. Uh, challenging us all on your own. In this world, the strong take the weak, or take while the weak quake. Time to learn your place, you squirmy little maggot. That's far enough. Who our captain friend? Hmm. <clears throat> Those who only pick on the weak and defenseless have no right to speak of the way the world works. I think your mouth may have just cashed a check that your fist can't pay. You shut up. We've got our captain friend here. Our captain friend will defend us. What's that? Well, if it ain't the lily-livered scallywag from before... What difference does it make one more? Get him! <sighs> Weren't you stealing from them? No, no. They're pirates. They stole these things from us, so we drugged their wine and then went to go steal it back. It's, it's not even stealing, it's reclamation of property. It was ours that they pirated away from us. It's not even ours. It's the people in our towns, and we went to go reclaim it for our town. We risked our lives when none of our property other than some wine, some rainbow wine, was stolen from us. Ugh. Ugh, you've done swabbed our deck. Just who are ye? Swabbed our deck. Oh? Hmm? I think any pirate worth his brine would already know. What? That blue spear. Oh! With the strength and swiftness of a viper. If I swear, if they call him the blue viper. You can't be serious. Could it really be? Captain Leon Bastral. Okay. Captain Leon Bastral. <gasps> what? <laughs> Just like our character. Oh? Are you really THE Leon Bestral? <laughs> I? In name, though a, a pirate no longer. Now I'm just the captain of a humble merchant ship. What do we have here? Here's a lesson for you lads, from a true man of the sea. Prepare yourselves. Dead men tell no tales. 
I ain't ready to be a dead man yet. Hi! Hold bottom mateys, else the locker, else it'll be the locker for us. Locker down at the bottom of Davy jo or Davy Jones locker. I was gonna say the locker down at the bottom of Davy Jones, but you you all get it. You understand. <laughs> their feet are quick as their wits are slow. Um, Captain. Lass, call me Leon. Lass. Mr. Leon. Thank you for saving me. I believe one good turn deserves another. Now, have you gathered all you need? Yes. Yep, all that's left is to bring the uh bring back the goods. <laughs> Excellent work. Ah, now you can return home. Your honor as a merchant all the greater. I must make for the docks. It's night. Uh, it's nigh time I set sail. Oh, I really thought we were gonna end up leaving with this dude. Like, it seemed like the perfect setup. She was sitting there and wondering what was beyond the sea. <sighs> seemed like the perfect setup for us to go with him. <gasps> You're leaving so soon? Of course. The sea calls last, but before I do, oh, here's our opportunity. Why don't you come by my ship? I'm telling you, we're gonna we're gonna get to leave with him. Seems like the perfect little old setup. What's the matter? Well, what are you waiting for, lass? Well, I. It's just you said you only let those you trust onto your ship, so so climb aboard already. Aw. Nice, sweet little moment. Lass. It took a great deal of courage to stand up to those pirates, and I believe such bravery is deserving of reward. Huh? Reward? Hi. I've collected countless treasures from the furthest corners of this world. They are my most prized possessions. You may take whichever you fancy. Dude, his ship is loaded. Look at that treasure chest up top over there. He's got another open treasure chest there. A painting of maybe a girl. It could also be a painting of a zombie. I'm not really sure. He's got two other crates of things there. Lots of like jars that Link would just fucking orgasm to roll through. Really? I, I could never take something so precious from you. It's okay, lass. I insist. Oh? Unless you don't care much for treasure, hmm? <laughs> when you put it that way, I really can't refuse. Or I can't really refuse. <laughs> That's the spirit. Whoa! I always knew the world was full of treasures. But I never dreamed I'd see such wonders. This is beautiful. Huh. Oh. Oh, a fine choice. What strikes you about the painting, lass? Well, I I, I don't really know. Out of all these incredible treasures, this one, it, it speaks to me. It's like I can see into the artist's soul. I can feel what he felt, all he experienced in his life. That is Love Unforgotten, a work left by, uh, Bastion, a famed painter from the land to the west. He was quite the admirer of women, and married four times. Ha 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 ha. 
and yet he could never forget the memory of his first love, who tragically passed when the two of the, uh, were babes of 13 years. Wow. Married four times, but couldn't forget your 13-year-old love. That's... That's a story. Kind of sweet. It was his life's work to depict her as a woman grown. Wonder those marriages. I mean, it, yeah, if you still are fully in love with the first person you met and fell in love with, then like no other marriage is really going to successfully pan out. It was his life's work to depict her as a, gro a woman grown. The beauty he knew she'd have uh, one day become. Working on the piece until the end of his career. Today, it is one of the world's most famous works of art. <gasps> wow, I never knew. <laughs> Mr. Leon, would you mind if I looked around a little longer? Of course. To your heart's content, lass. Born merchant, that one. I can see it in her eyes. Are you really not going to take us with you? She, should not, she knew not a thing of Bastion, yet identified that painting as a masterpiece in an instant. I thought this was just a sleepy seaside town, but this girl... She just might be a shining gem among the rocks. Well, why you gotta put down the rest huh? of the town like that, huh? Like, can't she be a shining gem among other gems? At least then everyone's like... I appreciate the compliment, but you don't have to put down the rest of the town for it. Did you say something? Yeah! This is the one. Is it alright if I take it, Mr. Leon? I don't, what is it? This what? is... Let's have a look now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid this old thing won't sell for much. It was left behind by a man I once led aboard in my younger days. It seems I neglected to throw it out, and it got mixed in here. It's best you choose something else, lass. I'm not so sure about that. No, I want this one. I can't really explain it, but... It just feels like it's calling to me. Mm -hmm. Is it now? Consider it yours, then. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Leon. Fare thee well, lass. Perhaps a day will come when you and I meet as rivals. But I won't be beat. I swear it on my honor as a merchant. Aw. Oh. Friendly rivalry. Way anchor, men. The ocean calls. Captain Leon's a cool character. I like it. I also, to be fair, I also I really like Tressa. Within those dusty pages, I felt like there was something that would change my life forever. All right, Tressa. I can't at... wait to go home and read it all. Look at the like the slight shimmer on the water, the god rays that are shining through, how the like some of the things on the dock just barely moves to get like get you that feeling of like that wake. And then the water being a completely, completely different animation style. I think it's all really good. Tressa spotted $280 left uh, by an unfortunate soul. It's a lot of money to have just casually been left somewhere. Especially considering an olive that brings the dead back to life only costs 10 money and someone just found 280. You know what, Grandma? I am going to buy your slippery nut.
That's right. I got grandma to give me her slippery nut. Can I open this chest? I doubt someone- Oh, I can just open this chest. What's on the other side of town? Where does this lead? Oh, well, doesn't matter where it leads. Hello. Hello. Riptide isn't the largest point in the realm, but it sure is lively. Oh, we already talked to him. We gotta go home. Come on, Tressa, what are you doing? Our nice little home where we'll sit and read our book. With that book were the records of a traveler, one who had journeyed the far ends of the realm. Spellbound, Tressa forgot time and read every one of his adventures. This world is brimming with treasures. Oh yeah. And I know what I'm searching for is out there somewhere. I'm telling you, that sounds like One Piece to me. So, I'll set sail for the horizon. Okay. And the great big world beyond. Yeah? Settles it. We're heading out. Ma, pa. It's time. I see the world. That's right, Tressa. What? Okay, so we couldn't travel with Captain Leon because Captain Leon is going to become like our Pokemon rival. We're going to occasionally see him and battle him and beat the shit out of him, and he's going to think he's going to beat the Elite Four uh, and become the champion. But actually, we're going to beat him. And we're going to have legendary Pokemon who created the sky and keep time and balance. And he's going to be like, go Caterpie. And we're going to be like, okay, ho ho, use flamethrower. <clears throat> that's how that's going to go. I'm going to leave Rippletide and become a traveling merchant see the world and have customers from every corner of the realm nice good dream tressa oh my just think about what you're saying dear uh yeah trav yeah uh yeah trav uh the type pokemon gym that's me go pet caterpie you fucking imbecile i love it oh griffin roasting travis on that is one of just the best things a bug type Pokemon gym. Uh, yeah, Trav. Travel merchant? I won't have any. You're not even a stationary merchant yet. Well, why not, Dad? I just beat the You're shit out of pirates. Two more years of stocking the store, and three years of working the shop front. That's five years before you're ready to go anywhere. You're just trying to keep me under your roof, Dad. Sorry, Pa. My mind's made up. Besides, I'll get all kinds of training on the road. Love it when she just drops into this fighting stance. Oh, I had a feeling you'd say that. There's no point in trying to stop you now, Tressa. You have my blessing. Ah, that was a swift change there. He went straight from, if well, you have five more years, to... Okay, you can go. I agree to it. Oh, darling! This is our little girl you're talking about! Forgot our ma was from Minnesota. Uh, Mar ma, the ma Marina from Minnesota. I know. But I had a feeling this day would come. She is her father's daughter, after all. Yeah, that's exactly how that works. In the end, being a good merchant boils down to experience. That's just what you'll find out there. Go and see the world, Tressa, till your heart's content. I don't know why I feel the need to mouth along with it, but I'm enjoying it very much. I understand, but I can't help but worry, Tressa. Tressa? Do take care of yourself out there, won't you? Won't you know? Be strong, and may the sacred flame light your path. Mm, thanks, 
Ma. Thanks, Pa. And I'm sorry for leaving. But I'll come back one day, and you'll see just how much I've learned. We wouldn't know what to do if you didn't. <laughs> After all, you're our number one employee. <laughs> Bye, Ma! Bye, Pa! Just like that, Dressa set out on the road. I'm gonna go save, and then we can leave. We're gonna set sail for adventure. Set sail for adventure!